We've got something very special on today's show. We have the privilege of unveiling the 2023 Naismith Hall of Fame nominee. So without any further ado, here is some of the ballots, starting with the 14-time All-Star and MVP of 2011 Finals, Dirk Nowitzki, the sweet shooting German. He scored 31,560 points in his career, the sixth most in NBA history, the most by an international player. Perk, best shooting big man that you ever faced? Oh, absolutely. He didn't touch me plenty of times. Dirk Ooh. Nowitzki, first ballot Hall of Famer. For sure. Why am I catching so many strays? <laughs> Next is Dwayne Wade, a 13-time All-Star who won three NBA titles for the Heat, taking home finals MVP honors after scoring nearly 35 per game to beat Dirk's Mavs in 06. The Heat all-time leading scorer also won a scoring title and made three all-defensive teams in his illustrious career. Zach, the first word that comes to mind with D-Wade. Destructive would destroy your defense and would destroy your offense at the rim. The best shot blocking guard of all time. And then there's Mr. Big Shot, Chauncey Billups. He earned a nomination after winning the 2004 Finals MVP award with the Pistons to go along with making five all star teams, three all NBA squads, two all defensive teams while earning a reputation as a star in the clutch. So, Richard, what did Chauncey bring to the floor? What, man, the year they beat us. They, <laughs> the, the year they won the championship, we were up 3 2 against them. But Big Shot was just too big. Congratulations, Chauncey. Paul Gasol won two titles with the Lakers and is a six-time All-Star who made four All-NBA teams. He dominated international basketball, meddling three times at the Olympics, seven times at Eurobasket, winning one world championship. Perk, how hard of a matchup was Pau? Extremely hard. One of the most versatile bigs I ever played against. Uh, you know, obviously bad memories in 2010, but I'm happy for him. And then there is Sir Tony like Parker, <laughs> a four-time champion, won finals MVP honors in 2007, right in the middle of Tim Duncan's prime. Parker made six all-NBA teams, four all, six all-star teams, four all-NBA teams. He just has too many accomplishments for me to even list. Janae, your favorite part of his game. As someone who grew up in Texas watching basketball, he was my choice because the success of the Spurs, his teardrop and just their winning, set the game not only, you know, domestically, but also internationally. And then Parker played his entire career under our next candidate, longtime Spurs head coach Greg Popovich. And Pop is the NBA's all-time wins leader with 1,354 career victories and five titles. They're tied for the third most by any coach behind only Phil Jackson and Red Arbach. Richard, what was it like playing for Pop? Well, I loved him. He hated me. He is the best coach that I've ever had. <laughs> Love it. Everybody hates you. And then there's Becky Hammond, a six-time All-Star who finished her career in the top two in points and assists in the Silver Stars Aces history and top four in both categories in Liberty history. She's also sixth all-time in WNBA assists. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.